Four Wheel Company is the expert of solar pumping irrigation system. This system consists of solar panels, mounting brackets, AC pump, solar pumping drive, combiner box, tubes, and some other components. Here we briefly introduce the working principles of this solar pumping irrigation system. When the sun rises, the voltage of the solar panel rises gradually. By the time the DC voltage reaches 280 volts, the solar pumping drive starts to show in the standby mode and will wait until the voltage rises to the maximum power point voltage. The drive starts to work and the water starts to come out from the water pump. Along with the voltage increases, the water from the pump also gradually increases until the drive frequency reaches 50 Hz and the water flow reaches the maximum amount while flowing to the reservoir. The weather changes rapidly during the day when the clouds come over and cover the sky. At this point, the DC output voltage of solar panels will drop dramatically and the drive starts to reduce the output frequency according to the voltage fluctuation and the water pump displacement starts to reduce. If the reduction in displacement is not enough to maintain the DC voltage above the maximum power point, the drive begins to enter into the standby state. If the voltage is less than 100 volts, the drive will cut off the internal power supply and the digital tube will be turned off. When the clouds dispersed, the output voltage of solar panel increases gradually. When the voltage reaches 280 volts, the drive starts to show in standby mode. And then the voltage reaches the maximum power point voltage, the drive begins to drive the pump and the system begins to work. When the night falls gradually and the sunlight weakens, the output voltage of solar panel reduces and the drive begins to reduce the output frequency to maintain the pump working. When the voltage is lower than the maximum power point voltage, the drive will stop working and the whole system will stop. When the voltage is below 100 volts, the drive automatically turns off the internal power supply and the drive screen will be off, waiting for a new round of sunrise to start working again automatically. To give an example of application of this system, pay attention to the coming example. A farmer who has a 40-acre field and wants to install a solar pumping irrigation system to plant watermelon and his desired pumping system is spout irrigation. First step. We must check how to drill the well and how many meters deep we can dig in. Let's suppose that the depth of the well is 35 meters and the well diameter is 8 inches. Second step is to determine the suitable pump for the application. Let's suppose that we have chosen a 7.5 kilowatt pump. The water flow for this pump is 25 cubic meters per hour. The head is 46 meters to the point of the water discharge. As the third step, and taking into account the overload factor, choosing an 11 kilowatt 380 volt pumping drive is the best. Fourth step is to choose the solar panel for this system, according to the pump capacity. We need to choose two rows of solar panels and each row consisting of 15-piece panels, with 355 watts, 39.32 volts, total 30 pieces. These two rows need one combiner box to collect all the wires inside. As we know, the spout irrigation system needs high water pressure and we suggest making a small reservoir and use booster pump if needed for the system. Now our system is completed. The advantage of this solar pumping irrigation system is the automatic running capability of it. It can automatically start working and according to the weather condition change upon installation. The spout irrigation system is a little expensive and farmers can choose other types of tube, which can save some costs accordingly. Full Wheel Company can offer any customized solar pumping irrigation system. We are the solar pumping irrigation system solution provider.